Again, we are now with the India's most dynamic inverter manufacturing company, K Solar, and uh, here uh, we have Mr. Sunil Siradkar, uh, managing director of K Solar Private Limited. He has changed the dynamics of the Indian industry while every industry is being focused to import the product from other countries and assembling into India. And he has been uh, taken initiative as a Atmanirbhar Bharat or the Self Reliance India and started manufacturing 100% into India and now changing the dynamics of the entire inverter industry specifically for the uh, renewable ecosystems. So we would love to hear from you what does it inspire that things has to be manufactured in India and with so much high level of performance? Yeah, first of all, uh, thank you very much for giving this opportunity to me. Uh, as far as you know, manufacturing is concerned because um, I have worked with al almost all multinational company from abroad. I was in Germany, Spain, US and all. But when I came to India, my father told me, why you are working for you know other companies? why that money is going outside India. So it is better, you know, you can start doing something for Indian people. You know, because our India is not, uh, what you can say, uh, focusing more on uh, making India Atma Nirbhar and all. So then, you know, I realized it and then gradually we started uh, manufacturing some of the product in India. That was way back in 2012. So 2012 to 2014, we, you know, we, we had imported some product and we were doing some reverse engineering. So why that product is been manufactured in China, Taiwan, Japan and all. So same thing we can manufacture in India. For example, I'll just tell you, there is a heat sink, a different type of aluminium extrusion is there. So that we started developing it in India and I was really, uh, you know, surprised. Our people from India, they have given me such a good product, which is not equivalent. It is much more superior than China product. So that has given me more, you know, uh, confidence in uh, manufacturing it. So slowly and gradually we started developing this product. See, developing a product, one hand, it will be, you know, giving you more opportunities for selling the product outside India. Secondly, it gives more employment to our Indian people because we have seen a lot of Indian people they are dependent on some other countries but here we can do, develop our own product over here that can be exported to the other market so that is the biggest advantage we are getting it when we manufacture that product in India so that is how our journey started and now we are successful probably 90% of our product we have been uh, you know manufacturing it in India it's in made in India and almost 2,000 odd people are getting employment because of this uh, uh, manufacturing process in uh, our company. That's great. So uh, that was the fantastic journey and taken a big initiative. Now if we talk about their brief about the success stories, the K Solar is India's first company who has installed 500 megawatt solar power in Gujarat and which is we can say that the, for the renewable energy everyone has adopted Gujarat model for the renewable policies and everything. While they have been success, they have installed almost highest uh, quantity of the inverters into Gujarat market. Then they have almost providing the services. While the many of the companies are failing into services, specifically the other countries brand or the assemblers, those do not have the much experience on the product quality and other things. They have given more focus into the services and Last but not the least, the technical backup with respect to the support system wherein they are available 24 by 7 to their customers. That has made them the great success into this market and they have introduced many more products with the extensive warranties. I think you might be the first company who has introduced 12 years warranty into this system, yeah. right? That's great. And you are also introducing 25 years extended warranty. So believe me, 25 years of extended warranty where the panels are being degraded and you can get the inverter of the same timeline. In fact, we are not believing that the 25 years, the downline, what are our age of life or what is the factors or the performance. And they are offering the warranty of 25 years. So that is, that's how we say that the, the, they have changed the dynamics of the Indian industry. Now they have also introduced electrical vehicle charging stations. So just tell me, uh, from inverter to charging stations, what has that uh, you are bringing that the the as you have changed the in inverter industry, 
what things that we are innovating uh, to change the entire EV industry as well? Yeah, first of all, you know, thanks for uh, giving this uh, base for uh, manufacturing process. What uh, you have mentioned it that uh, we are the first company, first Indian company, I would say, which has uh, you know sold or which has uh, done the installation of more than two five lakh unit in last six years. We are the first company who had uh, you know uh, got almost more than one gigawatt installation base in uh, India. In fact, we are the first company who are doing the servicing on site. Plus, my engineers are going at the site and they are doing the servicing on SMD level. That is, you know, small component level, they can repair that system. So that is the unique advantage. And why it has come to, why we have doing it? Because we know about our product. We are not a trader like other, most of the companies, they uh, get the product from China. They don't know anything about their circuitry or designing part or even the software part. Whereas in our case, we have upgraded ourselves to an extent that we do the complete upgradation of the software, we do the complete hardware, we also have are developing the product with some uh, uh, biggest uh, manufacturers like Texas Instruments or Microchip. We are doing entire uh, hardware, software. Those things has given us an opportunity to give more strength to our R&D people and that is how we have been developing this product. The development doesn't come in a day. It, it has taken a journey of almost seven to eight years. And looking to our government uh, you know, projections and government initiative for uh, EV charging station because government would like to bring out more number of uh, electrical vehicles. But if you don't have a proper infrastructure like EV chargers or the electrical infrastructure, you cannot go ahead by, you know, customer cannot buy the electrical vehicle. For that, we also have developed uh, the EV charging stations, like we have normal chargers which are being used uh, like 500 or 750 volt chargers are there, DC chargers for our Nexon or uh, the um, uh, MG Hector. Then we have also developed a charger for 1000 volt DC bus wherein you can use it for uh, the latest uh, cars which are coming up in the market like Jaguar, BMW or Mercedes Benz and all. So we have a complete uh, ecosystem, particularly for manufacturing these charging stations also. And we have a very, you know, big plant in Pune where we do all the manufacturing activity, R&D activity, and also we have a all India service, uh, uh, you know, engineers. Almost we have 70 odd engineers who have been continuously working on field and giving a up-to-date uh, product upgradation to our customers. That's fantastic. So they are focusing more into the uh, service portfolio and they already have more than 70 engineers into Indian market. While uh, we were uh, preparing for the interview, I heard from one of your customer that you have done the fantastic job of keeping everything open. So they like the transparency, which is everyone is not showcasing their product or the portfolio. And while you have showcased the entire things, what you are using inside, what it has been there, what kind of PCBs, components, everything. So you, you can feel that that is a live example or the live case studies wherein customer is giving you an appreciation. The, that is the transparency. See, transparency is not just a word, right? It is an, the philosophy that you are following. So what do you uh, feel that the, this transparency? And because many of the industry believes that the transparency can harm the businesses. While you as a business philosophy are living into transparent world. So what are the differences or the philosophies you are engaging that, that differentiate you from others? Yeah, uh, showing the you know, entire uh, internal thing of the product. I, I know that it is not uh, advisable uh, to show it. But nowadays what we have seen, like most of the you know uh, Chinese company, they are coming out with the same product with different outlook. But what is there inside the product, customer doesn't understand it. So it's our duty because we know there are, you know, one customer, one product is costing say 100 rupees, the other product is costing 150 or the third product is costing say 200 rupees. There is a difference in the technology, there is a difference in the component. So we have to showcase this thing to our customer. Then only our customer will understand it. And then he probably, you know, can give the order to our dealer or distributor to our company. So this is becoming now very important. And as far as the technology is concerned, see these technologies are available 
uh, on the website everywhere it is there anybody can copy it all the technology or software is also available on texas uh, instrument website so any engineer who would like to feel you know to develop their product or to manufacture it he can do it but to showcase this technology is very important the customer will understand because now you have seen lot of say vehicles also they are showing the internal part why they are showing the internal part that shows the technology what they are having it similarly we are also showing our technology our strength what usp is our product is having internal external and how efficiently it can work in the uh, industry so that is how our uh, point is there uh, that's really fantastic so you have get uh, the good market uh, potential and the good market coverage into indian market what do you see the export potential for your product and uh, are we able to beat the chinese product from the other countries who are more reluctant into the prices or more not reluctant into the quality yeah as far as you know uh, concerning uh, competing with china i think it is bit difficult at present but our government is also supporting it uh, for make in india atmanirbhal so because of that probably we may achieve this target it will take some time i'll just give you an example like initially we started developing some mechanical equipments the heat sinks where we found that our heat sink initially was costing quite heavily but then we our technician they are given some inputs on basis of that when we develop that thing in fact our production cost or the uh, raw material cost or the uh, the the end product cost has come down to almost less than uh, 20% so that is quite you know bigger chunk what we are getting it from our uh, supplier from india so we can definitely compete china i mean i am really optimistic and uh, once we have a proper ecosystem in our country then we can definitely compete with china as an example which i have stated you that our production cost has come down to almost 20% and as far as your second question for export is concerned definitely because chinese product people know that it will not last for long time or they don't give a proper backup to your customers also because we have been buying some components or some equipment from china but we are Uh, sorry to tell you that we are facing hell of problem as far as the back end support is concerned in software hardware or anything is there because they don't want to give a complete open source code to us they don't want to reveal any you know uh, thing of the circuitry so they wanted to keep it hide so that is not possible whereas our indian people they wanted to give everything openly so that is the advantage which the other countries they see in indian manufacturer that indian manufacturers are very uh, transparent they are realistic they don't hide anything so probably we are getting good requirement for export also so day will come definitely in inverter section also we may be be the uh, biggest uh, exporter for other countries so that fantastic uh, if we see the indian company are now leaping ahead uh, and beating the chinese manufacturer there are many uh, more competition available in india as well so what do you see the future of the market uh, coming while the government is also focusing on to uh, supporting the indian manufacturers and while make in india and there is an uh, policy of government by 2050 they have to uh, be a net carbon zero uh, free right so are we uh, able to gear it up all the manufacturers has already done the gear up for the policy or uh, what are the actions has to be taken for that initiative okay as far as you know uh, i cannot uh, give you more uh, detail about the solar panel but definitely uh, if you consider the power uh, section like inverters or hybrid inverters and all this technology is very you know can be manufactured and most of the raw material like more than 90% of the raw material can be procured from india itself so we need not have to be dependent on that and as far as the government target is concerned earlier it was you know during the national solar mission uh, it was somewhere around 175 gigawatt that has now increased to almost 450 gigawatt so 450 gigawatt itself is such a huge target which government has taken it and for that they are doing the complete infrastructure also back end support also policies driven systems are also coming up in the uh, portal and government is also like we have a mnre which is been sub uh, giving a complete back end support to all the epc players or the manufacturers so i don't think that 
for another 10 years we have lot of lot of opportunities for our labor lot engineers system integrators manufacturers so there is a i would say it's like an ocean for our industry with this uh, 450 gigawatt uh, projection which government has done it uh so thank you very much sunil ji uh, i think the uh, you have changed the dynamics of the entire industry and that would be great for the indian scenario uh, that he has made the certain an indian company reaching to the global expectations or so more than global expectations to the indian uh, people and the entire ecosystems now we will be definitely sure that uh, by your vision and support system what you are following up we can definitely reach by 450 gigawatt or the net carbon zero energy of the indian government so uh, thank you very much for all your support and insights for the interview thank you very much thank you very much bye